hi everybody welcome to our new video today we're going to show you how to send uh, an email on ubuntu uh but using a gmail so there is a super reason why i'm doing this uh you might say this is something simple no it's not simple it's simple because you know it so um sorry on ubuntu you might be using chrome you might be using firefox by this time we're going to use firefox click on your firefox don't rely on this you get me so you can send the email what you do you can go to gmail yahoo mail y mail whatever mail you want to send you get me so whatever company you're gonna use so because here somebody's gonna say send an email but it's gonna be a yahoo mail so what you do you come and click on this email which is wrong understand so now here if you want to send to using not to but using gmail you can say gmail mail dot com simply means now we're gonna use a gmail to send an email you get me so that's why you're gonna see we bump into here that's the thing so but now it could happen like you have a yahoo mail so when you have a yahoo mail say yahoo mail you can see the interface is gonna be a little bit different yahoo mail okay you can see this is the yahoo mail it's mail.yahoo.com you get me so you can see here you have to log in you get me so when you click here you must log in it's gonna ask you for your username and password you log in the interfaces are different okay so now if you wanna use a y mail a web mail whatever but you have to learn uh, that you sorry so that you don't press every time when you press here uh, you don't press this you must go to what they call the address bar this is the address bar you can see it. so the address bar someone can say that's where you're going to type in www triple w dot gmail dot com you get me someone can come here and say i want you to send an email but using my email and his email is not a gmail because most people are using gmail so other people think we're gonna always go to gmail no it's not always the case you get me so when we there, what we do, we can click on compose. It depends on each company, the way they call this. So email, Gmail say compose. You can find Yahoo Mail say new. When you click on new, then it pops up something like this. You get me? So here you're going to type in the recipient who's going to receive the email. So for instance here, we can say we're looking for uh, Isaac. And there's no Isaac. I okay. We're gonna send to this guy, and he say, uh, say hi. When you say hi, sometimes when you send an email with no subject, let me do this. I wanna send an email here. I just put in his email, but when I click here, it's gonna ask me send this email without a subject or text in the body. So it's gonna ask you why are you sending this. You wanna send it blank. So it's just reminding you. Otherwise, I can send it the way it is. That's what it's telling you. Mm -hmm. So you wanna? See, did you forget? Oh, it's cool. Maybe you wanted to send a sample email to somebody. You get me? So you can say okay if you're okay with that. But if you're not okay, say oh, I forgot. I even had to attach something. It, Gmail is so good, so smart. So if I say, uh, hi, how are you? Okay. Then I come here and say. Hi, mom. Find the attached document. Listen to this. We're typing, but email, Gmail is already reading what we are typing. And the email understands what we want to say to a person to get me. Once we say send, it's going to ask us. It's like a uh, like a, a human being now it will say it seems like you forgot to attach a file why would you tell me why mm -mm. the reason is i was so it said you wrote find the attached that's the reason so it's uh it, it, it reads what we are sending so after reading, okay, I say, okay, uh, I'm going to drive a car. 
you get me? Mm -hmm. So I tell my car, I tell somebody, look, I'm gonna take this printer to, uh, to the town, to town. You get me? When I start my my car, the car oh, I'm sitting with somebody close to me. Mm -hmm. Then he sees, looks into the car, say, but you're starting the car. Where's the, where's the printer? You said you're taking. So this is the example. So you told Gmail you attached something. Okay, you wrote in your email that you are attaching something for somebody. But now there's nothing you have attached. So Gmail is reminding you, please, you said you attached something. It seems you forgot to attach something. Mm -hmm. But if I did attach that, it was going to not give me this. Or if I did not write that I'm going to attach or attach any attachment, was not going to remind me about this. You get me? Mm -hmm. That's the reason why. So now it asks you, is it okay or not? If it's okay, it will send. If you cancel, you cancel and go attach something here. Okay, I want to attach something, so I'm going to attach. So after attaching this, if I send, it will never send me that message anymore. You get me? Mm -hmm. Then I say send. You're going to see the behaviors. It didn't say that. It The message has been sent. Say message sent. You get me? I'm going to write, compose another email whereby I'm not going to say attach. You're going to say it won't do anything. It won't remind me about nothing. You get me? Because what I'm trying to tell you that these guys, Gmail can listen and understand what you're trying to do. You get me? So, uh, the reason why they do that, they're minimizing human errors. You get me? To make less mistakes when you're making or sending an email. So, I'm going to send that and say, uh, J, I'm going to say James, okay? I'm sending to this guy and I say hi. Uh, hi. I'm going to say the internet is open there. Internet cafe is open. Monday, Friday. Monday. To Friday. Okay. Okay. After doing that, um, Friday should be capital R F. Okay. Monday should be M. Okay. 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 That okay. Once we're done with that, I'm gonna send. Ne? It will never pop up any message because it didn't. It reads. Okay. You get me. It reads. So once you talk about the attachments and uh, there's no attachment, you say this guy forgot. Shame. Let me remind him. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna say send. No. Pop up. No what? Mm -hmm. You get me. So that's why, if I compose again, and say send. It will tell me error. Please specify at least one recipient. Simply means I did not type in somebody I have to send an email to. That's why it did not do it. It reminds me that. Even when I type in, uh, even if I type in this and I try to send, it's going to ask me send a message without subject text inside. Remember that message, the one we, deal, we dealt with in the first place. So it knows that it reads and say, this guy didn't type anything here and didn't type anything here. Why is he sending this email anyway? Even if I say hi here and I send here now, it gave me, it went. Why? It only, because I said hi on, but I expected it to tell me that, okay, you forgot something in the body. I guess you get that. Yeah. So, so the, the emails are, are not always about gmail they are emails you can find this one on your home mail and uh, you can let me see this if i can try to get a password for this uh, if i fail to get that password then it's gonna be fine uh the password was wrong for this uh let me try Okay, 
six okay uh, if it doesn't work it's fine it did not verify okay it gives me something like which sim simply means verify now unknown whatever add a new email verify one year ago okay unverified so if it's unverified let me see if it give me a chance to remind me later so this simply means i managed to log into this so you see you can see now um okay i managed to log into a yahoo mail so yahoo mails also they change their english to uh compose you get me so they are not it is not a gmail it's a yahoo mail you get me so you compose here and uh, you can see it doesn't pop up something it does it embed something in here and i can type in any email say lil at gmail uh, let me say at at at, uh, at gmail gmail mail dot com okay okay after doing that we can say uh i'm gonna say find the attached doc document okay then i say hi i'm gonna say hi then i say send it sent yahoo mail is a little bit stupid you understand you can see it that it doesn't read and see this guy wants to send attachment or whatever so if you made a mistake you think now i've sent somebody the files yet you forgot you get me so gmail is better because it gives you more uh chances to not make more errors you get me so that's yeah. the thing so that's the thing i was saying sending emails doesn't mean necessarily mean you're gonna click on that icon why because somebody might send a gmail or can be using a yahoo mail a, a y mail or whatever email he might use you get me so then let's log out here okay nomsa dube we logged out from nomsa dube okay thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe this is the way we send emails on ubuntu using yahoo mail and also gmail thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video